Welcome in. Today, a literal journey as we help where we can on a more figurative one. Just a thought. Later in life, children are often reluctant for a host of reasons to assume responsibility over their parents. A reversal of roles that symbolizes mortality. Carolyn Fraser. Welcome in. Well, today Rob and I are on the road again and the water as we board a ferry to the mainland and make the five-hour trip over to the interior to visit my dad. Now, before I tell you more, let me give you some insight into what airline tickets are here these days, because we thought about flying, right? A one-hour flight to Kelowna or three hours with a stop in Calgary or Vancouver was going to cost us $900 one way per person. So since it may be early where you're watching this, I'll do the math. Add in a rental car and before hotel, and we're talking at least $4,000 for a few days in Kelowna. So yeah, it made the ferry costs, hotels, and even gas at $240 a liter for the SUV, albeit hybrid. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than flying. Yeah, there are cheaper flights if you have weeks in advance to book, and in this case, we didn't. But we'll make a point of it in the future if we decide we'd rather not drive. And we'll hopefully be avoiding many of the parts of the Trans-Canada that were washed out in last year's horrific floods in the BC interior. Fingers crossed. So after 12 days in hospital, Dad is back in his own bed in the retirement residence, a bed to which my sister has added rails for safety at the hospital's insistence. Dad likens it to being in a rodeo just to get around the gates or to take back to his days of calling square dances. He said you had to swing around the promenade, <laughs> but he's adjusting. Dad is far from recovered in terms of his mental state after that wicked infection and then COVID on top of that. But I'll join the team of Davis sisters in sussing things out and seeing what we think the future might look like. I've brought along paper and markers and tape to put signs up to remind him of things. And we'll just see what else we can do while we wait and determine how much of his mind returns. And then deal with the possibilities if it doesn't. As you can guess, Dad has not lost his sense of humor, thank goodness. He is getting a little concerned about the frequency of these visits and asked my sister Leslie the other day, is there something terminal I should be worried about? No, that's our dad. Just so grateful to be seeing him again and to have a week that's open enough that we can go. Of course, as he turns 89 in less than a month, every visit is more meaningful than the last as we are reminded from news around the world, in Ukraine, and amidst the devastation and heartbreak in Buffalo, no sunrise, no loved one is to be taken for granted. But you know that. I'll sign off for today and promise you on Thursday there will be a journal of a scenic variety as best I can. And of course, because we all have trouble sleeping some nights, there will be a new drift story for you tomorrow. It'll be at AaronDavis.com for links there or wherever you listen to your podcasts. It's a story that has a royal flavor to it since it's the Victoria Day weekend ahead called Son of Seven Queens. And of course, it's free thanks to NB Pillow. Be well, and we'll talk to you here on Thursday, hotel internet permitting. Bye for now.